It's your show. Yes, right, of course, sir. I'm ready any time you are. So sorry I missed sleeping and working long hours. I'm going to a party right now. I'll call you when I return. Kiss the girls. Very good, sir. How do you do? So what do you have for me? It's time. Poster board? Off the grid, sir. Okay, so... Whatever floats your boat. I've been working night and day to fill in this hole right here. I've read through 136 actionable intel reports that indicate that Musab Hussein al-Sumari has diversified into the highly illegal markets of human trafficking. Uh, he is our target. He's Pakistani and Afghani. He moves about the mountains freely. He can blend between both cultures. Everybody knows him. His grandfather, father, uncles, all fought the Russians during the occupation. 
He knows the land very well. He's armed and dangerous, usually. He has uh, a sidekick with him, and they are armed with frags, pistols, and small submachine guns. Al Sumari likes to keep it on the down low. As I said, Sammy, we have found, has diversified into the highly illegal market of human trafficking. He also uh, has partnered with ISIS. He has established a supply chain for them. It turns out that ISIS is low on everything but captives. So, for humans, Sammy supplies ammo of all types, weapons, Food seized from humanitarian food loads, water, bottled water from the mountains, anything that ISIS is low on, they are trading their captives for. They are not low on captives, I say again. Um, let's see, they're capturing women and children from 2014. They still have the captives that they kept from then, mainly uh, Christian Iraqis, Yazidis, and some Syrians that just weren't getting with their program. So, that's what we're facing on the what is going on. How are they doing it? How? Sammy and many others are working with coyotes that are leading these women and children through the area and the region. Assets that we have in the medical facilities are telling us that Afghani men and foreign men are leading these women and children through as if they're families. Yes, sir. No, no, no. But a female doctor. Only a female doctor for my woman. That well, they are the captives and they're moving north to the mountains to become sex slaves and mules for the Taliban. They're actually becoming wives, and, well, you know, we need to get to the bottom of this. It's two to three at a time. They're wearing full hijabs, full wraps, burqas. They're going, getting through undetected mostly because of the coverings. That's how they've been getting away with it. Let's see. Um, in my plan, we intercept. What's your risk assessment? The where. This mission has the highest value information for proximity to us. My U.S. Army Cav Scouts have reported 10 exchanges within 300 meters of this X right here. My sniper nest will be at our highest point within a 500 meter radius so that he has Accuracy in case there's fluctuation on the X moving north or south. Within this ancient creek bed, it is depressed enough to conceal slow moving foot traffic and slow moving vehicles. The highest point here for the sniper nest, us on either side, once we've established communication or visual with the transport vehicle and Sammy and his sidekick, then I'll know what to position myself to be in position to take the truck. My sniper takes out the tally drivers. I secure Sammy and his sidekick. By then, the captives will have been loaded. You'll be picking up three or four bodies. Are you going to be able to move fast enough to avoid tally response? We jump in and we drive right back. This ancient creek bed is only four miles due east of our position, right? So what's your risk assessment? That is the lowest risk we're going to get. Zero, 300 hours. We have 40 degrees temperature Fahrenheit to 100 degrees by noon. What are you gonna need from this end? I'm gonna need a team of three volunteers, a sniper team, and one for me for acquisition and recon. They have to be comfortable going outside the wire. And sir, I need you to promise me that we're not gonna have any surveillance, any drones, any aerial backup, any foot patrols or anything within a 30 mile radius. You know, 
that when there's action in the air, they know we're operating. It is crucial that we get a hold of our evidence, those captives. Are you sure of your sources? Are they reliable? U.S. Army Cav Scouts. I've corroborated all of these people's information. And I've seen some of this myself, sir. You went over the wire? Why wasn't I told? This isn't the time for that, sir. We will be road marching it, so we'll need three days r rations, a light ammo load, three forms of communications. And if anything goes wrong, we will break comms and you can send in your backup. Yeah, you're going to really sell me on this no recon, no air, no cam scenario you want. Very good, sir. All right, so we're in the off season. We haven't had one nocturnal operation from the tallies in the area the entire month. Therefore, if we keep the area clear, we're not gonna have anybody or any guests joining us at three o'clock in the morning as we do a little stroll to the X. I'm gonna green light the operation. Get a team assembled Good for sir. you. Get them briefed. Good luck. We'll be listening. Oh, by the way, where in England are you supposed to be from? Paddington, sir. Paddington. Yes, sir. Okay. According to my contract, um, it's not necessary to. Uh, you need to discuss me. Sticking to my backstory, sir. Understood. Get some rack time. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 